Cressida Cow, The Tiny Detectives. Why is the sky blue? Meet the tiny detectives. They may be small, but they have big questions, and they know just where to find the answers. Within the pages of a book, of course, just like this one. Come dive in and join the fun. Tips for adults reading with children. 1. Find a nice quiet space to avoid distractions. 2. Sit close together. You could let the child hold the book and even turn the pages. 3. Allow time to stop and look at the pictures and talk about what you've read. 4. Don't be afraid to act out the story or put on voices for the characters. 5. Most important of all, have fun. The Tiny Detectives why is the sky blue? Cressida Cowell Dad Mum Ollie Tiger Meet the tiny detectives. The tiny detectives are very little indeed. They are also very curious. That's why they live in a bookcase because even the littlest of people can find answers to big questions if they dive into a book. And that is exactly what the tiny detectives do best. Beetle, Bo. One beautiful bright day, little Bo asked a very big question. Why is the sky blue? Let's jump into a book to find out the answer, said Mum. The tiny detectives climbed the bookcase and Mum picked out... A book called Eagles of the Atlantic. Dad wound the red story thread around his waist so they could get back out of the book at the end of their adventure. And they leapt right into an... Eagle's Nest, high up on a sea cliff. Dad nodded to the eagle, and the eagle took the story thread in her talons, bending down so the tiny detectives could climb on her back. Is the eagle going to fly high? asked Bo nervously. Beetle is afraid of heights. You and Beetle can steer the bird, said Mum. You won't be afraid if you're steering. The tiny family clambered on the eagle's back. All except for Ollie. I should be steering the bird, said Ollie, crossing his arms in a huff. I am the eldest after all. Quick, get on board, Ollie, cried Dad, or you'll be left behind. The eagle wasn't going to wait for one sulky little tiny detective. Ollie just had time to grab the red story thread as the eagle took off into the air. Here, take my hand, said Tiger, as Ollie climbed up the story thread and onto the eagle's back next to the others. Up, 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 the eagle soared. Up through fluffy white clouds into the bright blue sky above. If we fly right to the top of the sky, maybe we can learn why it's blue, said Bo. Just as he said it, the clouds around them grew thicker and darker, and then it began to rain. Now we'll never be able to tell why the sky is blue, said Ollie, putting up his umbrella glumly and letting the others huddle under it with him. Actually, said Dad, smiling, a little bit of rain might be just what we need. Why, said Ollie grumpily. Mum pointed up ahead, because sunshine and rain makes... A rainbow, said the tiny detectives together, as they all saw the beautiful arc of colour spanning the sky in front of them. Mum told Bo to head towards the rainbow. The rainbow holds the clue to why the sky is blue, said Mum. A rainbow! The eagle flew underneath the rainbow, and Mum pointed upwards. The light from the sun is made up of seven colours, just like this rainbow, and they travel through the air in waves. Dad carried on the explanation. The gases in the Earth's atmosphere scatter these light waves in all sorts of directions, and because the blue waves are the shortest and smallest, they scatter the most, which is why we see a blue sky most of the time. Not now, though, said Tiger. 
the sky had turned dark and great bolts of lightning crackled with deafening thunder. The eagle was so surprised by the noise she dropped the story thread, but as the thread fell away, quick-witted tiger hooked the end of it with Ollie's umbrella. She gave three big tugs and the tiny detective family flew through the wild skies back to the safety of their very own bookcase. Another case solved, said Dad. Now we know why the sky is blue. Luckily I saved the day with my umbrella, said Ollie smugly. I was the one who caught the story thread, gasped Tiger, and Bo steered the eagle. How come you saved the day? But Ollie wasn't listening. I always save the day, said Ollie with satisfaction, because I am the eldest. Spot the difference. There are five differences in these two pictures. Can you spot them? Story Starter Use this sentence as a starter for your own story. There are no rules, just have fun. The girl couldn't believe what was waiting at the end of the rainbow. Search and find. Can you find Beetle hiding in the clouds? <laughs>